Hello and welcome back. In my first post, I've mentioned the idea of self-sustainable community living in the green building as an example of green infrastructure. In my second post, I've decided to expand this theme and I'm justifying uh, the importance of having more green infrastructures in urban areas. Green infrastructure is, as a business model, is not a new thing. It was introduced into the market a long time ago and actually there is a large number of different types of green infrastructures around the world. For example, greenhouses, green walls, houses that are fully self-sustainable, uh, urban forests, vertical gardens. But it's not easy to build green infrastructure. Requirements are very tough. It includes certificates for building materials, certificates for energy consumption, for recycling, um, control of carbon dioxide emissions into the atmosphere, but it all paid back at the end. Uh, green infrastructure is very profitable. Let's say a developer announces a green infrastructure project and he builds the green house within this project. This house will have much higher status compared to the, any other similar house projects, which means much higher cost for the consumers. So green houses as well as the green infrastructure overall is very attractive to developers and to investors as these types of projects have much higher rate of return compared to developing projects. So if you are interested more in green infrastructure benefits and impacts, you can refer to my blog. And if you think that we should have more green buildings, green infrastructures in Perth, please share your opinion in the comments and let me know what kind of infrastructures it could be and which area of Perth could be improved. Thank you very much.